Uh, on the ball, off the ball, on defense, on offense, I feel like we played together as a team. We were sharing the ball, and no matter what the score got to, we still played together. Elliot says that in time. Oh, yeah. He's tough. How dangerous do you think you guys can be when you can just switch from RJ to Elliot? I think the sky's the limit. I think switching from RJ to Elliott, playing them together, a bunch of other guys we have. We have Armando, Zayden, Jay Witt. Uh, we have a lot of good players. Cormac Jackson. I feel like this, the way we mesh on the court and off the court has really shown today. And with Seth on the sideline. Yeah, Seth's hurt right now, but he'll be back soon. You mentioned previously during media day that you worked with uh, Steph Curry training with Brandon Payne. What did you specifically work on and how were you able to bring that out there today? Uh, definitely just my shooting. I feel like my shooting has been under the radar. I know that at Stanford, the shots I would shoot were a lot tougher than the shots I'm getting here. Like today, I'm getting step in, catch and shoot threes from good playmakers like Elliot and RJ, and getting easier shots and just showing people that I'm also a shooter. You're like something at the four and something at the three, depending mm -hmm. upon the lineup. Can you talk about that dynamic? Like, yes, sir. Just trying to show my versatility. I can play the four, play more in the paint, post up, uh, get rebounds, guarding one through five, and then playing the three, showing off my shooting ability, playmaking ability, just being an all around player. What was it like to kind of just see all the things you guys? said you were going to do in the preseason from defense to tempo, playing together, actually translating the game. I mean, y'all haven't seen the half of it. We didn't run half of our plays out there. I mean, we're, it's coming. We're coming. We're coming. What, what makes you say that? There's no, I just know we're coming. <laughs> we're coming for everybody. I promise you. So you were one of three new starters on the team, but the, the, the chemistry seemed to be good. How were you able to build that chemistry so quickly? I mean, for me, I think chemistry is natural. I mean, in, my, in the past, coaches had to manifest us hanging out together, whether that was in my AAU days or any other team I'm on. Coaches had to, like, uh, team this, team that. But for us, we do it together. Like, we always hang out. I hang out with these guys every, literally every single day after practice. We'll go get something to eat. We'll just chill, play 2K. And naturally, we just, like, like each other as a teammate. I heard, I heard some fans say that well, that's, like, old-time Carolina basketball. I know that maybe you, know, you haven't been here for a very long time. Right. What do you think they meant by that? And, and do you feel that it's that way? Definitely just our fact that how fast we're playing. I mean, we're trying to run. We're trying to run. Team score, we're getting out quick, we're pushing it. And we're all trying to, trying to turn everything into a primary break. And coach tells us, if we see a, if we see an advantage, take it. Shoot open shots and everyone has confidence. As someone that works both outside and in, how does the increased pressure from mm. outside the three-point arc free up space down low in the paint, especially for you and Armando? I think just, I mean, just for me, having the great teammates, first of all, makes me get easier shots. I mean, teams can't double. I'm getting wild with shots. And then second, is having teams don't really know how to guard me. Like, do you do you pressure? Do you double? Do you allow me to shoot? Do you allow me to drive? I feel like I can do everything on the floor, and I really work on that. Harrison, you were heavily recruited here, obviously, a couple years ago before you went to Stanford. Right. What was it like? I know it was an exhibition game. What was it like running that tunnel for the first time? Man, I mean, seeing those, what, 22,000 seats is crazy. Although it wasn't packed, seeing my parents right there, I mean, this is like a dream come true. Playing North Carolina basketball, you can't get higher than this. You feel like you can be in a role similar to Manic a couple of years ago, stretch four, you can score inside the outside? I think it's doing a little bit of everything. I'll be, I'll be in a stretch four role, I'll be in a defensive role, I'll be in a playmaking role, I'll be in a scoring role, posting up role. But that's one thing that we're going to show this year. If all the plays we have, I have touches in the paint, I have touches outside, I'm setting the screen, I'm using the screen, I'm decoy. Like, I'm just doing a little bit of everything and showing everybody that the best part of my game is my versatility. What about working inside with Bond and how's that been? Oh yeah, it's been good. I mean, he's a monster. Going inside, everyone, they double him, they get wild open shots, wild open touch shots, wild open threes in the corner, like everything just becomes so much easier. That togetherness you talked about, hanging out with everybody, do you feel like that kind of was some of what we saw on the court tonight at the same time too? For sure. I mean, when you play with your friends, it's a lot easier. Like when I play with my friends from home, my best friends from home, I always have a great time. So then playing with my guys out here, I mean, it's our first time uh, playing in front of fans, in front of new people. It's how hard we play. Like, it's how hard we're going to play every single game. This team is so deep. I mean, how much of an advantage is that for, for you guys? I mean, it definitely is an advantage. I mean, I start, so the first four minutes, I know I can go all out and I'll get a break. When I'm tired, I'll get a break. He'll come in and there won't be a drop-off. You mentioned getting more uh, shots, especially off the pass, uh, catch and shoot. Uh, I believe nine of the first ten uh, threes of this game were off the six. Well, right. Why do you think that is? That's something that's emphasized uh, yeah. with this team? Yes, sir. I mean, Coach Davis really emphasized ball and player movement. So pass, cut, point five mentality, trying to play like the Warriors and play like the old Carolina and playing fast and getting away from what they did last year. Just kind of moving the ball, sharing the ball, and everyone playing together.